Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Rob. And we're here from VPG Transducers to talk a little bit about load cells. Mark, to start out today, we've got this single point load cell mounted onto a platform. Could you just tell us a few of the features that are applicable to this application? Sure. The single point load cell is designed to be used, as it says, as a single load cell mounted underneath a platform. And what makes this design unique is that it's mechanically compensated for off-center loading, which means you can put a platter, generally up to 400 millimeters square, on top of the load cell with a little bit of deflection room for it to operate. And then as you move a weight around or the weight shifts, the load cell will not change its output. So uh, very handy for uh, medical applications where you have a platter with a, a liquid saline, any type of uh, platter monitoring that monitors incoming and outgoing fluid. This load cell is a little taller than we typically use. The most common load cell that we see this used for is the model 1022. The 1022 has been around for decades and is one of the original load cells from Tadea. It's very small, it's aluminum construction, again, compensated for off-center loading, so the same platform would apply to this. It's got a little bit uh, wider section, so it's got a little bit more section modulus. It makes it a little bit more impervious to the outside load, but generally speaking, a 400 millimeter platform is the standard for a small load cell. Mark, thanks for detailing all the features of the single point and also the 1020, model 1022. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact us at vpgtransducers.com. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.